Oh, put your hands up! It's time to put a bullshit up! Brad Storm here with Championship Rounds, and we're at Top Alliance Combat 3. And this man right here, Chaz, the Gladiator Dowdell, got the job done against his opponent tonight. Sir, walk us through what went on in your fight. Um, you know, it, it, was a, it was a good fight, you know. I um, had a lot of nerves, but after getting hit a couple times, right. it kind of woke me up. I was kind of sleepy, but... It I seems like up. you guys were having a feeling out process in the first round. Yeah, yeah. It was um, when standing up, I was still kind of feeling it. Like I said, I was, I was still like kind of keeping the nerves. Yeah. But then once we got tangled up, he was, on, he was on top of me. Unfortunately, most people say you can't strike from the bottom. But right, and you were very active on the bottom. Yeah, and I, I was hitting him a lot on the bottom. Right, right. And so it was, I was trying to prove a point that you can. And when I was, he, it was, it was phasing him. It was, he he tried to hit me, but I slipped a lot of them. So even though it hit, it was yeah. partially. It, it seems like happening. he might have ran out of gas a little bit later. You took advantage of that, and you get your first win as a yeah. pro. How does that feel? Uh, it feels good. You know, it, feel, it feels great actually. You know, it's uh, I've been getting paired up with a lot of African Americans, and to actually win against one is like it's now it's like a mental that like pass. Right, like, right, right. So. And you got you learn things from your losses. Yeah. And you've learned a lot. And now you got Clint Hester in your corner. Yeah. The head buster. Yeah. How was that? You know, it, it's cool. like right now. Like at first, when I first started training with him, it's yeah. kind of like, oh wow, like I'm gonna train with a UFC fighter. But then it, it's like when you be with him like around like almost all the time, it's right. like just like you're, like you're your friend. You right. Know? And it's, everybody's trying to make everybody better. You know, you're probably trying to make Clint better as yeah. well. And uh, what's the future entail for you, bro? Um, a lot of hard work, many more fights, and win them all. Um, I'm just now, I'm getting ready to sign a contract with X3 Sports. Oh, excellent, excellent. So I'll, yeah. I'll be with Long, Clint Hester, train with him for yeah. his fights and for my future fights. You got any shout-outs you want to make to any of your sponsors, any affiliates out uh, there? Yeah, I want to give a shout-out to your fight. You know, they sponsored me with a brand-new walkout T-shirt, the Gladiator. Oh. If no one knew, yes, I'm the Gladiator. TG. Oh, right there, man. And I want to give a shout out to Pittsburgh. I'm from Pittsburgh, PA. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 412. I, I, 412. No matter how far I am, I'm always going to rep, represent my city. Now, how do you like your experience with TAC? What does it mean to you as far as your career goes? Uh, you know, TAC, I like it. You know, I, I came down here. Um, I, didn't know, I didn't know about TAC. They actually hit me up on Facebook. Okay. And, um, and they said, you want to fight? I said, sure. I didn't know there was enough promotion other than Wild Bills. Oh, yeah, so, there, yeah, there's a new one in town. Yeah, yeah, there's a new one in town, and I kind of like the venue. All right? Well, you know, fans, you go to follow this man, Chaz the Gladiator Dowdell. On Twitter. Get, on Twitter. What's your Twitter? Twitter, cdowdell42. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Chaz the Gladiator page. Like it, follow, do what you got to do, social media. Cage side submissions, you're going to follow them, follow us, championship rounds, and TAC-MMA.com. You're going to want to do that because TAC is where it's at. Yeah. I'll put your hands up. It's time to put a bullshit up.